Okay, something different. We're uh, going to go check out a big, uh, big space age looking tractor. This should be fun. Look at this thing, it is massive. Freddy got fingered. So this thing's cab is all sealed up to protect us from all the toxic chemicals that are going to be sprayed out of those giant booms. Good idea in my mind. So the joystick's the accelerator, is it? Yep, so joystick accelerator and section controls, yep. ups and downs, uh, your gear selection. Um, it's a lot less complicated than it looks. A lot of it's just run out of this. Yep. Uh, your boom fobs, your pumps on and off, um, the fan speed and stuff. So. Yeah, it's pretty, um, once you work your head around everything, it's pretty basic. Right. It's pretty awesome, really. Pretty awesome to drive. <laughs> so we're spraying fungicide on lentils. Uh, Fungiciding the lentils, right. A lot of uh, fungal diseases on them, and insects and stuff, so... <laughs> Sometimes it gets stuck on the tip when I fold it. It's a bit of a pain. That does sound like a pain. Yeah, yeah it's not that hard to fix, but it's just. should be doing it. Yeah, it's not too So, we got the deployment of the spray booms. That one's going out. Yeah, that one's going out for one. This one's just playing funny burgers. What does it catch on? Uh, it's the little guide that lifts it up in. For some reason that's just not grabbing it right and well, as we go down the road, it jumps and jumps out of the guide. Right. Sometimes you can you can do a little trick and shake it from in the cab with a till. And um, you can sort of get it out that way. It's a bit dodgy but This is real life. Nothing ever goes 100% right. <laughs> Welcome to farming. Spend 90% of the day fixing most of what's up. Cheers, mate. Fresh growth sort of budding up in here. Yep. And it's the diseases, I don't know if it's going to have any or not. But, um, you just like a little bit of yellowing there. Yeah, so that's a uh, fungal disease called Ascochyta blight. Right. And so that's the chemical we're really trying to stop at the moment. the boom so I've got to make sure because it's the first take of this chemical after I've cleaned it I've got to put the chemical through the boom. Right. Drive up on the fence line so you don't kill too much crop. Ah, right. So 
door can actually on the floor and you can run it back to it even just dropping out in front of you back to a, a real fine mist just by adjusting the fan speed so is that mainly to adjust for wind uh wind and uh your droplet size so depending on your target or your crop you can either be trying to get real fine to get through a canopy lots of night we'll be running it to be fine yep to really push it through the canopy and get the fungal carbon on it some some you know summer knockdowns when you're using roundup and stuff you want to cause a droplet depending on what you're trying to hit so yep yeah it's a pretty sort of handy handy thing to have really nearly finished purging here so this always follows the ground automatically too oh nice Just judgment for picking the edge of the field? Yeah, potentially. I'm sort of, a lot of it's run through your map. Um, oh, okay. The outside lap like this, I'll be driving a fair bit of it. Um, but you can also see my wheel marks from before, they're a bit hard to see. But uh, yeah, a fair bit of judgment involved. Right. Yeah, spray. Big hey! Push, <laughs> big push, mate. I'm my beer. This is the life, eh? Look mm. at this scenery. Bad spot to be, I reckon. It's a pretty good office. Yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. Any when you're tired at about 3 a.m. and it beats it, you'll wake you up and yep, cool. Oh yeah, don't drive into the fence. Don't hit the bloody fence. Well, you're out doing it that sort of times, are you? Uh, depending on some, some of these chemicals you can, like the fungicides you can spray at night, depending on a lot of heavy gear and whatnot. Yep. Um, a lot of chemicals you can't spray at night once it gets too close to the G point lifting. So we're nice and um, air sealed in here. Oh yeah. <laughs> Away from all the all the uh, carbendism. All the good stuff. You've had your child or children anyway, mate. What are you worried about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually scary when you read this label of this chemical. It's, it's a nasty one. Oh, that's no good. Well, this is the life, eh? Cruising along with Steve in the uh, in the million dollar tractor. It looks a bit <laughs> like a spaceship. Um, yeah, having a drink, enjoying the view, and spraying the crops. Good times. It's on there, mate. When do you put the machine on autopilot? She's on now, mate. She's on autopilot. Yeah, Look at that. Yeah. How's that for a job? All the curries is good, mate. The meal from the young ones. Love these lentils. You ever watch that show? No. No. Uh, Might be before your time, I'm mate. I've the same one, uh, <laughs> Of British comedy. Yeah, uh, right. Love his lentils, there you go. Yeah, uh, Neil the hippie. Always. Well, they were poor, these poor uh, uni students. Yeah. Um, they were absolute pigs. And they were yeah. all living together, totally dysfunctional, living together in a in a house and uh, not getting on very well with each other. And they're, and they're usually eating lentils because they're dirt poor. Dirt poor. <laughs> cheap, yeah. That's funny. Summary. Farming's hard work. It can only be taken on by the most elite, fittest people. <laughs> yeah, like body and mind in amazing, amazing performance levels. <laughs> and have a good bank balance. Or enjoy being in crippling debt. One or two. Great parameters of being a farmer. Yeah, the debt part's the, the bad part, isn't it? What's another million? Money's cheap. <laughs> the bank manager keeps telling me. It's not even real. Ah, exactly. Floated. It's not backed by, like, backed by anything, so... That's it, mate. Well, it's been a good day out here. Cruising around, uh, watching Steve spray the buddy. Spray his fields, spray his lentils. Working hard. Working hard. <laughs> yeah. Chewing the fat. For a day for it. Yeah, lovely. So I only do this on low wind days, right? Yeah, relatively, depending on chemical you're using. Um, but yeah, you're sort of trying to keep it in the lower 20k's at the max. Yeah. Beautiful. Now go through the field. Alright, thank you, sir. No worries. Oh,